Hi, I'm Professor Stephanie. In this video, we are going to draw using a one point perspective formula a book, a matchbox, and a, a cell phone. Okay, I'm going to start with the book and I want to let you know the dimensions that the flat front is uh, horizontally. This is two and a half inches and then it's by one and a half inches. This is the box that you're going to make. This is the flat front. And then the um, top of the box is going to be two and a half inches deep. Again, we're going to be working with our points. So that's going to get you started here with um, the book. There's a photograph of the book. It's hard for me to show you this book <laughs> in real life on my camera, but that's what we're working with. And I have already got started here uh, because uh, I want to, and I might even move this a little bit to show this. So starting, I'm going to suggest that you may use your tools. You can see I have um, the G-square and the triangle. I have done that to make these boxes. And in order to kind of speed things up a little bit, I've made my initial flat front and pencil, but I'm coming back with my marker because I want to show the details of the book. And part of this is the thickness of the book itself. So when you are looking at the picture, for example, what I just did was this right in here, this thickness here and here. All right, there's the binding. There's this binding right in here. So in this activity, we're doing as much as we can to add the details. And I'm going to leave this here because this actually is going to be the paper. Might be able to do that. And if you look carefully at the photograph, you're going to see that the paper even comes in a little bit. And notice I'm still using a dot to dot. I'm going from line to line with here because I want that to connect. All right. So we know with our vanishing point, single vanishing point, I'm going to be able to get my left hand one up to the vanishing point. I'm going to pivot this across here to get this one, just using a yellow, a light. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to use my marker. I already have used the straight edge across actually going to curve these. This is what's making this look realistic. And then also there is a following this line here, I'm using my eye to keep this thickness the same. We know that this line is down here. Let me go ahead and make that come back to my vanishing point. Always, always. And then I can also make a thickness here. So the book itself has some thickness and then I'm going to make a curve there to make that look like the curve from the book. All right. So we started with a rectangular shape, which is the flat front. I use my vanishing points to get these vertical lines, top of the book, the bottom of the book there. Now adding the details, I always on the top, since we have to, this is, this proportion here is not measurable. So I have to use my X, which is going to give me the center. And what I want to put on here is this label right here, rectangular shape. I'm going to estimate it. And I estimate that it's going to be, I'm going to pull in my straight edge here. It's not in the center, it's above the center. And this is going to be an estimation. So I'm going to use these points right here on the X. This dot here, this dot here. I'm going to take my straight edge. And this is what's going to, whoop, no I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the vanishing point. All right, so I had a little blurp there. Vanishing point. These are going to be parallel lines, just like this is a parallel line. Great. 
Now I did that in pencil. Notice how I used my X here to help me here to here, get that proportion. Now I'm gonna freehand this angle. So that's gonna be my label. The other interesting um, thing here is the pages and I am going to go ahead and put in some pages. It looks like my, these, I can use my straight edge here because we have a flat front. Looks like I'm running out of ink there. Run that ink on this one too. But it's interesting. I'm uh, since this is a detail, I don't mind that it's going to be a little bit lighter. Now, what I want to show you here is that I'm trying to touch my edges. This is really important to me. It's a detail that I really appreciate. When I get ready to do these page lines, what's going to happen? Ah, yes. I have to go back to the vanishing point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect with these points here. It's going to be really one on top of the other because of our angle. But I want you to get this theory here. Whoop. Okay. So I am touching probably every other line here. It's what's called foreshortening. But remember, I'm still using my vanishing point, okay? Vanishing point, vanishing point, vanishing point, vanishing point, vanishing point. And then these are gonna be um, vertical, vertical lines. This, These are vertical too, but I gave them a little bit of a curve. So that's gonna be what you'll be working with with the book. Now, with the um, matchbox, you've done an activity before, and yet we're gonna be working with similar qualities here. I'm going to start with my flat front and here are the measurements for this. This time it's going to be two and a half inches wide, a half inch up and down. This is our flat front. And then on the left hand side, this line from this dot to this dot is going to be an inch and a half. And that's going to give you the same proportion that I have. Two and a half, one and a half, oops, half and one and a half. Sorry. Okay, so again, I think you're going to want to do your pencil lines with tools. I already have my pencil line here. So I am going to freehand on top of the pencil. This is what I want the assignment, your assignment to look like because we want to get used to this idea of using pencil. And then since this is the flat front, I am working here with vertical and horizontal lines. There's no diagonal lines. And then I would like for you to add some texture where the striking is. Um, I'm a big fan of diagonal. You can see I want to touch the top and the bottom. That's very important. I can go back in and make these tighter and I'm going to let you play with that a little bit. All right. Now getting to the top, we know that we need to work with our guidelines from the vanishing point. And I already did my measurements, so I know what's going on here with the top. Okay, there's our... Now, one of the key things here is we can't just start drawing this in here because we need to figure out the proportion. And the proportion is not measurable. And part of what we're going to do is we're going to take some, just like you did in the activity, I'm going to find some dimension, uh, some ways to break this down. All right, so right away, I've got a grid. And we know with a grid, we can figure out, let's see how we have here. Now notice how it, this, this rectangular shape is bigger than this rectangular shape. This is typical uh, with, with perspective. The further away we get from this flat front, the smaller the uh, shapes get. If you were to look in your classroom at the grid ceiling, look up next time, follow a grid from where you're sitting and go down the classroom and you'll see they get smaller. 
This is how our eye perceives the world. This is the formula that we're using. All right. So with this grid, I'm going to be able to add the details very similar to what you did in another activity. I can start with some of the um, horizontal lines, which are easy. I can put the lettering in there, stripe on box match. There's a circle in here. And I can make a rectangular shape. Look at that. Get my circle in there. Notice I went to pencil. Gives me an opportunity to correct as I use my, here's uh, the 32. Now I want you to take your time on these details. You see I'm kind of brushing. That's not your point. The point here for you is to, I'm going to need you to be more exact. And that's what I'm going to be looking for when I grade your assignment. All right, this is, all right, I have a, I have this line right here. Whoop, gonna work on right here. And then we've done this before as far as the diamond. Part of what this type of drawing helps you do is really look at the subject, really look at the pattern. You're it's a wonderful um, activity for you to practice seeing things, noticing things, especially patterns. The interior design world is full of patterns and being able to recognize them are very important. All right, I'm gonna let you finish that out. You have a photograph that you can work from. So, but you have the, the idea of how, look how gridding that up helped. You can erase that grid as you add the, the details. That might be easier. But again, that big X finding the center and the center again was very important. All right, so here comes a cell phone. The cell phone, we're gonna have three inches horizontally, a half inch vertically, and then going back, it's going to be one inch. That's the left-hand side going back to the vanishing point. All right, I'm going to leave this up to you to play around. Here's my big phone, and there's my little RC. <laughs> so there are a couple of details on the sides. As a matter of fact, I might even do it this way so I can get some details there. So whatever your phone looks like, I want you to take your phone out. It's probably already out. I know. That's okay. Let's, I'm going to round these corners because on my cell phone, they're not square. And because I have the pencil already there, this is also whoop, we'll round it there. Okay. Now... So I actually have a cover over mine. So I'm gonna, this is a great way for me to practice. Using my eye, looking ahead. Remember, we, we naturally look ahead. That helps us know where we're going. I'm also gonna add some depth to this. Notice how I'm gonna add a third line here because that is what is gonna give us I'm working quickly, but I want you to take your time doing this. Remember, your grade is going to be about how well you pay attention to the details, how finished it looks. So this isn't about rushing through. All right, here's what's important. I'm going to find my center here. Okay. And I'm going to find a center here. Very good, because uh, I have a circle right here. I have a line, I think it's the microphone. I'm not too versed in what's going on on my phone. Oops. And then I also have the screen itself. So here's what's kind of helpful here. That X is always good. 
I'm going to connect these lines up. So this is my screen. Again, pencil, big X first. And then I have a button right here. I also have, this is where we plug things in. This is a really skinny way. Great. Okay. So in this activity, you're going to work on a book, the matchbox, and your phone using this single vanishing point, uh, the technique of finding the center with an X, and that is going to be your project. You're going to erase all of your pencil marks. So what, what you can leave your, um, these lines if you want, but let's erase some of the things that are in here. So what we're going to have is the book, the matchbox, and the phone without all of your guides. Thank you.